where we are currently, we can't have mail sent. Because yeah, they, they don't allow it. Well, they don't even have an, an RV park office. No, they don't. Not so we can't get mail here. We we're here for the next two weeks, and we want some stuff now. Yeah. So the alternative is the Amazon lockers, yes. or the Amazon counters, which we have not experienced a counter yet. No. Now, before we actually go and show you how the process works of actually picking up your items that you've had shipped to an Amazon locker, I'm going to show you real quick on the computer how to order it properly. All right, before we can actually go and pick up our item, we have to learn first how to order it and make sure it goes to the right Amazon locker or counter. So I put a random item in my cart over here. So we'll click on that. It'll bring up the item that I put in my cart. And then we'll just go over here and proceed to the checkout. Now, when you go to your checkout, it'll automatically put up your address that's in your profile as your shipping address. And it should have also your payment method saved in there from previous um, purchases, which you can change and alter. But the most important thing on this page is right here where you want to change your shipping address from your main address to an Amazon locker or a counter. So you can see that there are seven locations near this, this address. That's going off of my home address. So what I want to do is I want to click on here and it's going to take me to a map. And it's going to take me to a map and it's going to show me Amazon lockers and counters that are near my, my saved shipping address, which I'm not anywhere near right now. because our, our saved address is Auburn, Alabama, but we're in Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm going to change this zip code to the Jacksonville, Florida zip code and I'll click on search. It'll take me back to the map, but this time it'll take me to the map showing close to my current location. And you can see in the pin right here is where I am at. And then it'll show all the locations of Amazon lockers and Amazon counters. You can zoom in or out to get a better look at it. And I can see that, you know, two, three, four are pretty close to me. And then over here in the left hand side, you can see that it will tell you whether it is an Amazon counter, which is usually inside of a store or a locker, which can be inside or outside of a store. But it's like um, you don't have to actually go to a counter to pick up your item. You just get the, the code from your from your phone on the ordering uh, details and it will give you a code to open up the locker. Now the numbers over here correspond with the numbers here, so you want to pick one close to you. So we'll go ahead and click on that one, shift to this address, and then on this page it will now change what was defaulted to your home address to the Amazon locker that you just selected. And so you need to make, make sure that is a correct, and then uh, it'll show you all your payment information, and then you click on use this payment, and, and that's it. You'll check out, and then um, in a couple of days, they'll let you know when your item is arriving at your Amazon locker, and you go and pick it up. So let's go do that now. Now we have ordered our stuff, we selected our locker, we know our location, and we just got notification that we have our stuff. Ready it has pick. arrived at the locker. So we're gonna go to the locker and pick up our stuff. And once we pick up our stuff, we'll show you the stuff that we picked up. And we have three days to pick up our stuff. We don't actually have to go pick it up right away. We just want our stuff right now. But technically you have three days to pick it up. Otherwise, the delivery person for that area is gonna take them back. But you don't want? No, don't want them to have my stuff. <laughs> yeah. The other cool thing that you can do at Amazon Lockers and Counters is you can return items that you have gotten from Amazon that you may not want or maybe broken. Uh, you don't have to go nope. to USPS or whatever. Nope. Uh, it's all postage paid through Amazon mm -hmm. and you just ship it right back to them. Yep. And then they'll refund you. Yep, you'll stick it in a locker. That guy who do, does the deliveries will also take the returns. Okay. So we're headed to the Amazon Locker and um, we'll see how it works. Okay. All right, how's this thing work, man? What you got there? I have a code. Just the barcode scanner? Yes, you can enter the code manually or you, if it'll pick it up. Sometimes it, the sun blocks things and you can't actually just stick it under there and let it barcode it. You might have okay. to enter the code, I don't know. But you can do either way. All right, let's go do it. Okay. Here goes the first.
first one? They're all in there. Oh, they're both in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, that was easy. Click the button. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't scan though, huh? No, it wasn't picking up the, the scan. And it, like I said before, if sun interferes, I brightened my screen, but it still didn't pick it up. So I just typed it in. Yeah. And just to give you an idea, we ordered stuff two days ago. Yes. Free shipping with Prime. Yeah. I don't know what the shipping is if you don't have Prime, but um, it's not much. Yeah, but and we it, are located near a distribution center, yeah. which made it possible to get it. So we ordered it like Thursday evening, so it was really like a day and a half. <laughs> yeah, and this place is less than four miles from where we were at. Yeah. So instead of waiting until we got to the next RV park to have an address to ship to, or a family member, or we will be seeing family. Yeah. Or friends or family members because we are notorious with abusing our friends and family and sending them all kinds of stuff but in this case small items and we wanted them now yeah and we didn't want to wait you know probably what 12 13 more days yeah and or just have it shipped to the next RV park and it's sitting there waiting I hope nobody and hope yeah it. hope it doesn't disappear <laughs> Yeah. So this is the fastest, easiest way for us. And th we've used Amazon Locker several times. Yep. Never had an issue. No. Always got our stuff real fast. Yeah. And as long as you pick it up in time, uh, you generally won't have any issues. What'd you get? And they pulled, they put, we ordered separately, and they both put both of our things in the same, in the same package. So I got Holy a- Holy crap. I got a 15 pack. Golly. You gotta accessorize. You gotta match your outfit. So. <laughs> for her watch. For her yeah, digital watch. so my Fitbit will match every time I wear it. Okay. Don't judge me. What'd you get? None of your business. Exactly. None well, of your business. Less important. Yeah. So these are, actually we're filming on the GoPro right now, but these are uh, foam covers that cover the entire uh, GoPro and so it reduces wind noise in the mic when you're vlogging outside um and the reason that i got these instead of the the mod well a couple different reasons yeah. the mod is like 80 bucks yeah to plug an external mic into and as and soon for as, as often as we use it, it just doesn't seem like yeah it, we'll get our money worth this is a pack bucks. of two for like 12 bucks yeah and the other the downfall about the mod is that when you plug the, the mod into your GoPro, your GoPro is no longer waterproof. Mm. So this, uh, worst case scenario, your little foam dealy will get wet. Yeah. But the GoPro itself will not be damaged. So we'll have to try this out in a different thing. So um, yeah, definitely recommend the Amazon lockers. And since you're in there in Amazon shopping anyway, you might as well go ahead and use our affiliate link because a portion well. of that goes to veterans and veteran charity organizations. And um, while you're in Amazon, you might as well go and look at our Amazon store and see all the cool stuff that we buy and that we use for our RV and during our travels. You sounded we like will a big leave, spokesman. <laughs> we will leave a link to both of those in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.